today I have had the opportunity of nitpicking on a few tense errors, as in not tense errors, but the usage of the right tense. I have noticed that one common mistake we all make is the use of the present continuous tense. What is that? Where do you work? Is the right way of saying what people make an error in. People usually say, where are you working? Where are you working is not right English. Where do you work is the right way to say. What are you doing at the moment is fine. But what do you do in life? That's how you say it. I'll give you examples. I heard today this sentence that said, the whole idea is revolving around something. What would be a better way of saying it? The whole idea revolves around something. He was calling me from this afternoon. He called me this afternoon. He called me many times this afternoon. But he was calling me. I remember attending a session at the Emirates Toastmasters where I don't know if she's still around as a Toastmaster. Christine who? She's still there. She's there, yeah. I remember her making this very pertinent <coughs> point. She said a native English speaker would never make this mistake of using a continuous tense. But we all do. Let's dispense with that. Uh, more examples of continuous tense. I mean, we all make that mistake. To say it wrongly, we are all making that mistake. <laughs> we all make that mistake. Um, look out for an action-packed agenda. Look out actually means to be careful about, to be cautious about, to watch out for. So if you say look out for an action packed agenda, I would back off and say, oops, is there something that I have to be scared about? You would say, look forward, look forward to. Okay. I have seen today that there are many occasions on which words have been repeated unnecessarily. For example, for example, one page article which nobody has seen it, which is the unnecessary word here. There was a one page article which nobody has seen it. One page. It. Nobody has seen it. it. Which nobody has seen. It, it. is unnecessary. Um, a word which we need to use it during our round robin session. It. A word which we need to use during our round robin session. For which you should be grateful for. Again. For which you should be grateful. Or which you should be grateful for is also fine. But there is no necessity for you to flank the entire sentence with a for at the end and a for at the beginning. This I mentioned in the last meeting. And I shan't hesitate to mention it again. She said she will come. Can somebody correct this? She said she would come. She said she would come. And I personally believe that this forum is a forum where we don't use too many colloquialisms or slangs. And I would bracket the word kids under that. I think it would also be better to refer to them as children. So when you have to, in a formal speech, in a table topic speech, I would avoid using kids or my hubby. Kids was used quite a few times today. I think that's about it. What I realized is that. What went wrong with this? What I realized is that. What I realized, no, there's a continue, the sentence continues after that. What I realized is that something happened. What I realized was. I realized it. So it was. What I realized that I, what I realized was it was a good movie. Or what I realized was that he just meant good. You don't know, see what I realized is that he meant good. I 
idealized something is good, idealized something was good. That's about it as a grammarian. And let's move on to the table.